Hi, this is Ray Heaton reporting to you for What's Up College Edition. On November 6th, Tacoma's mayor race comes to a head between Harold G. Moss and Bill Barsima. Dominique and Patrick bring you live footage to help you, the student, the viewer, and the voter decide Tacoma's next mayor. Uh, each candidate is going to start with a five-minute statement. And if you've watched a lot of, uh, or have seen any of the debates, that's actually a pretty good block of time to let somebody actually explain whatever they want, uh, why they're running, what their background is. Uh, we flipped a coin beforehand, uh, and the order was determined that uh, Mr. Moss would go first at the start, and Mr. Bargeman would go uh, second. I'm Harold Moss. I'm a 50-year, 50 50-plus-year 50 member of this, uh, this city. I thoroughly enjoy what I do here. Uh, it's not an accident that I am running for mayor. It is absolute deliberation. What I'd like to do uh, in my five minutes is to kind of cover three areas, if I may. First, to talk a little bit about my background and qualifications, talk about what I think needs to be done uh, when the first elected mayor for the 21st century takes office on January 1st, 2002, and talk about the future of my hometown, what Tacoma should be and can be in the years ahead. If there was one thing you could change or improve about the city of Tacoma as mayor, what would it be? Oh, I'd, I'd start with a whole lot of things. Uh, all of the vacant buildings downtown that, that uh, used to have thriving businesses would have thriving businesses again. I would love to see neighborhoods where uh, properties have run down, that we had some program that, that not only trained people but put people to work in, in refurbishing them. That would be just wonderful. I'd love to see Tacoma uh, go out and get the kind of industry that's clean, uh, that has high paying jobs, family wage jobs, uh, I, all of those kinds of things. To me, uh, there's nothing wrong with knowing that way off in the distance, that's where you're trying to get. If you had the chance to change anything about Tacoma, what would it be? Uh, good question. No, not, not too much. Uh, I, you know, I love the city. Uh, it's pretty nice the way it is, obviously. There are some uh, issues that relate to neighborhoods that need attention, uh, m mainly more focused in nature. But uh, this is a city that I uh, was born in. It's where I grew up. Um, a half a block away from where I live is where my grandparents lived the year that my mother was born in 1916. So uh, it's part of me, part of my soul. What kind of things would you do as mayor to ensure the safety of its citizens? Well, we have uh, an excellent police force. Uh, I think it's been brought out uh, more than once that our problem with, uh, with the, the, the police force has nothing to do with the quality of the, of the men and women who serve there. But we have allowed ourselves to negotiate our way into uh, some practices and some organizational things that just are not serving us well. If you become here, uh, what would you do to make it safer? Well, I, you know, I think that uh, we need to implement the uh, recommendations of the performance audit of the Tacoma Police Department. There are 130 good recommendations, uh, and uh, they deal with uh, deployment and scheduling. They deal with the use of uh, personally assigned vehicles. I think that if we can make those changes and embed them in our strategic plan, I think we can make uh, improve our, our safety issues, address some of those safety issues. By the way, it's a big issue. Now as we enter the new millennium, you'll be selecting a mayor for the 21st century a mayor that should have a vision for the future of Tacoma, and I think I offer that vision. I get the job done because I empower everybody around me to participate to the fullest of their ability. That's what I'll continue to do.